Hello! Today we are going to learn how to solve equa equations Today we are going to learn to solve equations using algebra. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an equation, something like x minus 3 equals 12. Hmm, how do I solve for x? Now, when you were a younger child, you might have been in class and you saw something like this. It was just a box. What goes in this box? And your teacher may have said, add 12 and 3 and you get 15. That works. Now, we're just going to do it with a letter here. And it looks a little different, but you can do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the side that has the letter, and we're going to try to get that letter alone on one side. What we're going to do is we're going to add or subtract, multiply or divide, whatever we need to to get that y alone. We want y equals something. So in this case, if I add 3, to this, I get zero. So just remember to do the same thing to both sides. So this cancels to zero. Y is alone. 12 plus 3 is 15. So we got our answer, didn't we? So now we're going to check it, and we're going to take that number, plug it in for Y. 15 minus 3 is equal to 12, and it checks out. So there you go. The thing you need to remember in when you're solving equations in algebra is you need to always have a balanced equation and you do that by adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing the same thing to both sides. What if I had something like 3y plus 2y is equal to 15? These can be combined. 3 plus 2 is 5 y equals 15. This means 5 times y. What can I multiply by 5 to get it to disappear? Well, not really disappear, but it changes to 1 if I divide this side by 5 and I get 1. Divide this side by 5 and I get 3. So 1 times y is y equals 3. Now don't forget, you have to check it. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 times 3 is 6. 9 plus 6 is equal to 15. So there you go. So it checks out. Now, if you go through the check process and you don't get something like 15 equals 15, then you need to go back and check your work. Maybe you did something wrong, maybe you came up with the wrong answer, and that's what's so good about doing that check. You take your number that you get for an answer, put it back into the original equation, and see if it works. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.